This is going to be another Power Trace project. We're going to import. We're going to select a bitmap. And let's stick this maybe uh, over on the side of our page. About like this. And with that selected, with a bitmap selected, I'm calling to your attention an RGB bitmap on layer 1. Resolution is 91 by 91 DPI. With a bitmap selected, the property bar should give us the opportunity to trace that. I'm going to click on the trace icon, or drop down actually. That will allow us to select one of several different tracing modes. And I'm going to click on Detailed Logo. That brings up the Power Trace window, and we're in the preview mode named before and after. We can also look at that at a large preview. We can look at it uh, wireframe only to see the actual vectors that with which we're working. Uh, but let's start off with the before and after. Notice that we uh, filled in several of our characters. I noticed a few other problems. The background is still showing. That'll mean we'll have objects we'll have to remove. We really don't want that white background. And we're missing a few characters. Uh, let's work first on the flattening out of these curves. That means probably it did too much smoothing. So I'm going to reduce the smoothing. We're watching the, the area right here, here, and just a little bit of flatness here. So we're going to knock that smoothness down quite a bit. And that looks pretty good. Yeah, let's go. I still see a little roughness up here. I'm not sure we can improve on that. We'll watch that. No, we can't. So I'm going to go up here at about that level. That's about as good as we can get on smoothing. But then let's see if we can work on this area down here. That would be the amount of detail. So I'm going to increase the detail. Ah, we got back our T. Let's increase it a little more. We got back our eyes. And it looks like it's going to take maximum detail. And hopefully then we can get the middle of our A's back. And indeed we did. I will call your attention already that I don't think we're going to be able to get that M any better. The text looks terrific, except for the M and a little bit of roughness in the S also. But other than that, it looks pretty good. However, I still see that background, so I'm going to tell it to remove the background. There we see the checkerboard, which in Corel products, that means transparent or you're looking straight through to your desktop, uh, so to speak. I notice only a few other problems, and that is we have some of the characters that have white in the background. Let's tell it to not only remove the background, the edges around our graphic, but also to remove the background color from the entire image. And we'll see what we're watching for is the whiteness here and the characters in here. If we remove that from the entire image, ah, now we have very close to what we want. Since we've gone this far, though, let's look at one other little issue. Let's go to the colors. We'll see that Pyrotrace saw a total of three colors. By the way, we were told that down here. And we're in the RGB color mode. I'm calling your attention that the black is true black. That's 000, zero, zero the three RGB values. White is, it saw that as properly as white. But red more often would be considered red 255, green 0, and, and blue 0. Uh, the only place that would matter is if we're doing sublimation. And we wanted an exact color, then we could actually key that in. Or if we're using color mapping in our laser program, probably the colors we have preset are real uh, RGB colors, and and so we should change that. So I'm going to select that by clicking on it and edit it, and then we'll make this change to 255 zero and zero. There we have 
a true artist's red. We'll okay that. Notice, as a matter of fact, that uh, Power Trace now calls that just red. And I think I'm happy with that. So I'm going to OK that. What that did is dropped that onto our drawing. We could have told it to delete the bitmap, but I like to leave the bitmap there so I can get a comparison. And it looks to me like we've already made uh, terrific improvements on our graphic. I see really only two problems. This M, we probably should replace that. Let's uh, go to our zoom tool and illustrate that. Pretty ugly there. We'll go to our navigator and look over at this S. Notice that may be acceptable. We might want to just clean it up or replace it also. But I think instead, uh, let's just replace that M. We'll go to our text mode and see if we can put uh, capital M in there and get that sized about right. Let's make that instead of Arial, maybe Arial Black. Uh, pardon me. Uh, let's just bold rather than Arial Black, and that looks pretty good to me. We'll look now at wireframe to where we can see what we actually have below that. And uh, we see not really a particularly good fit, so we'll just massage that a little. And then we'll try to select that M back behind that and delete it. And so probably the best way to do that would be to hold down the control key. That's the wrong one. Holding down the control key allows us to select, notice a child curve. I haven't called your attention yet that what we traced was a group. And normally you can't select something in a group, or you, you can never select something in a group. You have to ungroup it and then select it, or hold down your control key. That's what I did. So now I can delete that, and we're left with a pretty nice M there. So let's zoom back out on that. I'm pressing Z from the keyboard. That'll bring up our zoom options on our screen and we'll tell it to show us all objects and now we see that M looks uh, pretty good in there. We'll go back to our view of enhance and see we have a very nice graph.